blast so strong it was felt 200 miles away. going off. More than 70 people killed, thousands more injured. Rescue teams are looking for bodies buried beneath the rubble. Investigators are looking into what caused it. The country's interior minister suspects it was highly explosive material confiscated from a ship that was stored at the port. A horrific explosion. News of that explosion hitting members of a local church very hard. The pastor of St. Joseph Maronite Catholic Church in Phoenix holding a service for the people of Lebanon, saying that the country was already torn apart by coronavirus and government leaders, he says, have not done enough to help the people during the economic turmoil and social unrest. Including this explosion and coronavirus, what's going to happen for the people? You have every day in Lebanon about 500 families are sleeping without food. Kids are sleeping hungry. People, they don't have electricity. They don't have a job. Kids without school. Adults without university. Really, the situation in Lebanon, it's so bad. It's so bad. And he wants the U.S. government to get involved and help investigate the cause of that explosion. Over to the East Coast, 